net, net 18. We're in the preserve banding birds this morning. It's part of our 14th year of banding fall migrants, birds that are migrating from the far north, heading south of us for the winter, getting out of Dodge before their food, food resources completely disappear. Now, when this bird's a biter, so we have 20 nets set up here in Conner Barrens East. And this, the white-throated sparrow. You know he's a white-throated sparrow because he's got the white throat and he's got those yellow lures, that yellow spot between the eye and the bill. And these guys are a northern, northern boreal forest bird. Once we pull them from the nets, we bring them back here to band them. These guys get a 1D. 1D. What's Every, the abbreviation? WTSP. Every species gets a different size band. These are size 1Bs. Titmoses always cry like that. Yep. Recap. From the bird banding lab closed. So we grab one, open it with the pliers, with the spreaders here on the plier, and the band is in the plier now. And we just slide that under the leg and turn it. And squeeze, and you want it like a bracelet. So close nice and easy. The band, the band should spin and slide easily, not pinching the bird's leg. Well, it takes a lot of energy to fly from north, from the top of North America to south of South America and Central America. And having a migratory stopover to refuel is really important for birds. So we're trying to figure out how important is the pine bush for migrating birds. And what did you just pull out of the and bag? After 14 years, we have found out that the that the preserve is pretty important. And what I just pulled out of the bag is a ruby crown kinglet. So that ruby crown is kind of hidden unless they're really annoyed and they fluff it up. Mm. But this is one of the smallest birds we banned, actually. And how is the season going this year? It's been very busy. It's been quite active. Mm -hmm. And how can people learn more about what you're doing and how bird banding is done? Well, there's a couple of different ways people can learn more about what we're doing. Uh, we have a bird banding video, actually, that we produced earlier on, uh, on our YouTube channel. And you can learn a lot by going to the USGS's Bird Banding Lab web website. Oh yeah, net, it's net two. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like Christmas because you never know what's in each bag. <laughs> Very squirmy. Another white throated sparrow. Did you need a band for yours, Ferb? Yep. As the season progresses, we get to, we move from, from warblers to sparrows and toward the end, we catch an awful lot of these white throated sparrows. This is another little bird from the north with a red crown on its head. This is a Nashville warbler. So Nashville warblers breed in boreal forest on the ground, typically in beds of huckleberry and blueberry. So habitats, habitats similar to the pine bush. Rufus crown 16 millimeters. <laughs> These are the ones I have to measure it for. There we go. Nashville warbler. Heading to Central America with some jewelry. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. 